This is a can safe. It looks like a real can, but it's actually a way for you to hide your valuables in plain sight. Now that's the inspiration for the rules to this game, where I'll have to spend the whole day hiding from Jamie in plain sight. Today's the day, I guess, where Danny's hidden himself. Throughout the day, I'm gonna try to find him. They are so overly confident that I can't find him in my own building. Danny has to be hiding in plain sight, so he can't be like in a wall or something like that. He can't move from his hiding space. My plan is to just kind of be somewhat methodical, right? I'm just gonna start at the front of the building and work my way back. Eric, anybody in here that I should know about? Or Danny, perhaps? Danny, you in there? Are you crazy? I'm looking for Danny. Danny? You guys seen Danny? Oh. Have we seen Danny? I haven't. No? Okay. Okay, you guys wouldn't be lying to me, would you? I actually no. haven't. You know, I'm constantly just thinking about, okay, he's gotta be in plain sight, and I don't think he wants to be scrunched up real small the whole day, so I'm kind of looking for like bigger things that he could have maybe built himself inside of. The studio's probably the logical place, because it's the largest room. Got a nice high vantage point here. I'm imagining the whole time that he's sort of taken the can safe idea and gone bigger with it. So he's turned himself into like a giant studio light or a piece of furniture or a piece of warehouse equipment. I know these are all fake, but maybe these guys went and built something new. Danny? So far I haven't seen anything like out of place. My big fear is if he's in plain sight, I've walked right by him and it feels, will feel so stupid later. I don't know if it's worth spending a lot of time looking around in the warehouse, because I just, I don't think this would be like the smartest play. Hey John, real quick, where is he? Oh, he's uh, <laughs> in the building. It just seems like he needs to be inside of something large. Just poke around a little bit. Why do you have a golf club? He's oh, been... it's, for po it's for poking stuff. Poking, poking stuff? stuff? Yeah, for poking. To see if it's real? Yeah, Danny! <laughs> I'm really enjoying just like walking around poking stuff. I'm just imagining Danny like this, you know, laughing to himself. That would be a tough day inside a cabinet. Before we started the game, Danny said that he would be working throughout the day. I want to see if I can find a computer that has been moved. If it's a desktop, he's got to be plugged into a wall somewhere, and that could narrow down where he is. Okay, that's still there. Everybody's got their computers in there. And then their computers were in there. They're still there. Well, it was an idea. It was an idea. Maybe I need to change my point of view. I'm starting to get frustrated. He's supposed to be in plain sight. Other people are telling me that they've seen him throughout the day, and I'm like, how is this possible? I pick in with the beam. I haven't seen him before. During the holiday season, we get a lot of temp workers that come and go, sometimes getting new ones every day. So I thought that would be a really easy way for a person like me to probably go unnoticed. If we stick out too much, it's gonna draw attention to me, so we wanna look normal, but just slightly not like me. He's the guy that got sent to us today for some reason. Did he replace somebody? Um, he said he did. I was wondering who that guy was all day. <laughs> Call them. 
Okay. And then we'll start up again. Okay. Guy here, and he said he was sent here. I think our warehouse manager said his name was Rick or something. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even have a straight up Rick in my system. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, I'll go dig into it a little bit more and get back to you. Okay, perfect. All right, bye. Danny's not supposed to be moving around. Is that him? I was fully under the impression that you would not be moving and you were literally moving the entire time. That's because I was intentionally vague. <laughs> I went and called the employment agency because I'm like, who's this guy? <laughs> I probably looked at Danny 50 times throughout the day um, and just looked right past him. You know, Rick, you know, I don't, I don't, with I, your Jenko I'm jeans. I'm hiding. So I, I, I changed my body shape. Look at my silhouette. Oh no, I noticed the scar. Yeah. yeah. We tried to take the idea of the can safe, which is like, if you're looking for valuables, you're gonna look for where you think valuables are. If you knew I was hiding, you're gonna look for where I would hide. It's definitely clever. And those of you out there who think you would have figured it out, Maybe you would have. You were concerned I wasn't going to do any work today. <laughs> no, I know. And I did two jobs. I made a video. Right. And I worked in the warehouse. You did work. So I'm going to take tomorrow off. <laughs> That's <laughs> how this works. Decoy can safes hide your valuables in plain sight. Buy decoy can safes and shop hundreds more gifts we found for you at the VAT19 online store. Like, is he inside of you? Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I think Danny's inside of us all. Ew. <laughs> That 19.com